Hey Fawn fam! Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hey what's up? My name is Tanya and thank you all so much for joining in and watching this video. As always, there will be timestamps listed down below so you can jump around and if you like what you see, smash the subscribe button, hit that notification bell and thumbs this video up. I do try to post as regularly as possible with as many new releases as possible so being subscribed and turning that notification bell on will go a long way in ensuring that you never miss out on all the fun, new content, new releases and everything that is the Fawn family. Now I just finished recording my January skincare, hair care favorites and I was initially going to combine both videos in one but that one ended up being like 40 minutes or something so I thought I'll just divide the videos up and then people who care about just skincare or just makeup can focus on one of the videos and if you care about both then hopefully you'll be watching both. Now I do have a lot of makeup to get through. I know that this is not a totally inclusive favorites from what I've tested out over December and January, but I'm in the middle of a declutter and organization process, so everything is kind of a little bit everywhere. So I tried to grab everything that I could think of that was like absolutely a home run and then Hopefully that's it. But I do have a beauty favorites playlist and anytime I upload a video where the products are great, it goes into a beauty favorites list. So you can always check out what I'm loving that way too. So this is going to be like disorganized. I just grabbed all the products that I thought were amazing and like piled them on top. So we're just going to like pick at these in not a good order just to get through it. Okay, so first from Carity, I am in love with the Picante eyeshadow palette. This is your warm tone dream come true. I did a swatch and tutorial on this baby and it is stunning. The formulation is luxury in quality. They are cruelty free. Every time you buy a palette, they donate a meal to an animal in need by working with their local SPCA shelters. So they're a good cause. They cut out the middleman. They are just such an incredible brand and this palette is a Bomb. You have 21 shades, mattes, metallics, lubies cheering me on, <laughs> and it's just gorgeous. You can create sunset, sunrise eye looks, warm berry, corals, orange, like it's just ridiculously amazing. And then from Carity as well, their blush bombs. I love these. Pigmented AF, like go with a light hand, still dab your brush off, and then work it on your cheeks. It is crazy how pigmented these are. The coral one, I absolutely love the two blushes. You have a matte and a more like luminous blush, and I love mixing the two. One dab, one dab, hit that brush off. And sometimes I still have to diffuse it or add a little bit of setting powder over it, but they're so pigmented. The staying power is so incredible and it's just bomb. And then the Boom Berry, I love the mauve pink and then the highlight is so wet looking. It is fantastic. So these guys, I just cannot recommend enough from Carity. And then the Marc Jacobs, 79 Guilty Omega Glaze is absolutely stunning. It looks like it might be too dark, too golden for such a light skin tone, but I spotlight with it and it just radiates. It is so wet and intense. The highlights I'm going to talk about are pretty much all like very much like a wet, intense, in your face, not for the faint of heart, and it is stunning. When I swatched on my hand, I thought it would be too dark, but over foundation used with a brush, it is not. It is beautiful, and you are never going to run out of this pan. Like I just, I think you could use it every day for a year and not hit pan. Then the last highlight, like standalone highlight, is the Natasha Denona Super Glow. The shade 01 Fair has been my favorite. I used the crap out of this when I was on my cruise. It is wet, it is intense, it is blinding, it is just unreal. Her uh, highlights before that were just glow, they come in a champagne packaging. 
is also amazing like I amazing amazing but the super glow is other level ridiculousness beautiful then going to the other end of the spectrum essence the brighten up banana powder I have thoroughly been enjoying I have used this so frequently you can't even tell and it's not like a true banana where those are geared to like medium and deeper skin tones this is a very light wash of banana so it is perfect if you are fair and light skin tone so this is finally a banana powder for all of us very white ladies out there that does brighten it looks beautiful it is smoothing it doesn't gather look powdery bunch exaggerate lines it's just a beautiful brightening powder and it saves my butt if i put on a concealer that's too dark or I'm testing out another powder and it makes my eyes too dark like this has just been wonderful from all angles and I brought this on my vacation and I just used it every day too it is really good oh sorry there's one more standalone highlight but it's a palette this palette I don't know where I put it uh, it must be just buried. It's, I recently demoed it. It was the Lancome Starlight Sparkle Highlighter Palette. It is limited edition. You get three beautiful shades. Like just perfect like champagne, a little bit more golden champagne, and a pinky, pinky champagne. The formula is beautiful. It is wet. It is blinding. It does have the finest shimmer in it but it's not like glitter and I didn't even notice it until I was like up on my skin and I was like oh there's like the littlest bit of shimmer but it's really beautiful and it's very complimentary and the shades are gorgeous I'm just I can't find the palette to show you guys what it looked like I don't know where I put it but I still had the unicarton so I can at least show you the unicarton <laughs> and then uh, another eyeshadow palette that I fell in love with was the Pretty Rich by Too Faced. This was, like, they stepped it up. This is really, really beautiful. The mattes are so creamy and blendable and buildable. They are so easy to use. The metallics are gorgeous. And then you get four pressed glitter shades. I love pressed glitter. It's so easy to work with. It gives such a beautiful look to the eye. Like, this is such a well-rounded, all-encompassing palette that has everything you need and I'm sorry about that the hubby decided to go snow blow while I'm filming and now we can hear it. you guys can probably hear it uh, but this I really recommend from Too Faced this is one of my favorite palettes by them and then also by Too Faced I actually had some lip care that's in my other video by Too Faced but this gloss all the stars high shine sparkling lip gloss I pretty much use like almost only this when I was on my cruise and the Smashbox Gloss Angeles as well. These are really awesome. These two and then Pat McGrath lipstick. I was either using a Pat McGrath lipstick, this Too Faced, or the Gloss Angeles by Smashbox. So this one is fantastic. And then this one just gives such a beautiful, ethereal, juicy, like it's so pretty it smells really yummy everything about this is just yes 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 and of course the Pat McGrath lip gloss the new lip glosses as well I well all the lust gloss but the new shades are just spectacular I use the crap out of these ones too they're just so juicy shiny filling youthful it, it's just beautiful and then the Guerlain Gloss Domfer. I demoed this in a recent uh, first impressions video. These are beautiful. They are so lightweight. They give so much color payoff, but you don't feel that it's there, but you feel like something's nourishing your lips. So it's like you have a treatment on your lips but then you have beautiful color payoff it doesn't get goopy none of these glosses that I just talked about get goopy they don't gather they don't get stringy they are fantastic I really recommend them I know that Guerlain is more pricey like Pat McGrath is too but I mean it's just so insanely beautiful 
Then we'll jump back to some drugstore. You guys know I fell in love so hard with the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation Stick. I'm in the exact shade 210 Creamy Nude. If anybody is as fair as I am, this is your perfect shade. This is buildable. It's not like full coverage, but it's like a you can build it to a good medium full or you can sheer it out to like sheer light. It is very versatile in how it builds. You do not feel this foundation. Like I mean the lightest weighted foundation ever. I feel like all I did was moisturize my face. Like my moisturizers are heavier than this foundation. And it's such a beautiful natural finish. I don't like super matte. I do like dewy but this is like a beautiful in between. And your skin is just so even and flawless airbrushed looking. It is awesome. And the Milani Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealers. I demoed these all together. These are fantastic. They didn't like exaggerate fine lines. It didn't get heavy. It blended out beautifully. This combo made me get full coverage out of my look. So I was very happy with that. And it's just a great formula. I just so, so recommend these new Milani products like so much. Uh, going back to the more expensive spectrum, the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer. I did end up buying a lighter shade because this one is great for like outer part, but like for that little bit of inner highlight, I did need a lighter shade. And this is gorgeous. It is so natural, but coverage, but like your skin, but better and healthy. It's so hard to, it's a very unique concealer and it is beautiful. This stays top shelf now with all the products that I'm talking about. They all stay top shelf. Uh, then bouncing back to some of the other end of the spectrum, the Burt's Bees Blush in Toasted Cinnamon and Shy Pink. I love mixing these two colors together. I use these a lot on my vacation too. And it just gives a very healthy, they're not like crazy luminous, but there is a sheen to it and it just looks beautiful on the skin. I haven't actually used them individually. I always end up mixing them and I love the combination that it gives and how it looks on the skin. It's just so good. And I don't have any makeup on today because I actually had a hell of a week. I had horrible migraines. I was in so much pain. I was throwing up. My teeth were actually hurting from how much I was vomiting from the migraines because I had a really bad rheumatoid arthritis flare up. And so I just thought, I wanna film. I don't know if I can commit to makeup, if the lights are gonna bring the migraine back. But um, this is my second video and so far I'm good. But if you guys are wondering, like I'm filming without makeup, that's why. Now going, oh my gosh, there's the palette. <laughs> the long comb one. I must have put it in here first and then while I was trying to gather everything I didn't realize that I had already placed it in here and here it is. So this is the beauty and the colors are just perfection and they're really good pan sizes too. <laughs> There you have it. Okay, then Hourglass, these two babies. The Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 4 is so amazing. It's limited edition. You get some beautiful setting powders that just give you a natural luminosity. It's not like in your face. If you are a very natural highlighter, you could use that as a highlight. I love dusting it all over the face. Then you do get uh, the strobe powder highlighter which is also really beautiful and then you get blushes and a bronzer. I love this one because it's more on the cool toned spectrum where the other one I love as well but for different reason the ambient lighting edit unlocked. This one gives you more of a warm base. The bronzer is more warm toned. Uh, these powders are a little bit more warm toned radiant. You get a strobing metallic highlight. This is the like in your face, the trio that Hourglass released. I keep that top shelf. I love those highlights. So you get another one of those and two blushes. So if you're going more cool toned, I love the pink one. If you're going more warm toned, I love this one. And it is 
expensive, but you get your bang for your buck out of the six pans, the size, the quality, and just the finished product is so beautiful. Then the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Matte Powder Foundation in 1N0 Porcelain. This is literally the best setting powder I have ever tried. Not like my Lancome Radiant Smoothing Powder in La Peche is my ultimate favorite for all over luminosity. This one is my favorite for giving a little bit more coverage. It totally blurs out pores. If there are any foundation mishaps, separation, anything, this comes in and saves the day. I already bought a backup because I just I can't even imagine running out of this, breaking this, just being without it for even two days while doing my makeup application. If I travel and it breaks, whatever, this is incredible. It is a game changer. It will just amplify your makeup. It takes it to the next level. This is incredible. It's lightweight, it's buildable. There are many ways you can use it. You can use it as a foundation, as a setting powder, mixed with both. You can dampen it for less coverage. You can use a beauty blender, a brush. Like it is just so good. And the packaging is beautiful. It has a mirror. It's just, it's fantastic. It is so good. Then some primers, the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer is fantastic. I sat on this for months before testing it and then I was finally getting to some full face. I was saving it for an e.l.f. dedicated video but so many of you wanted to know about it so I used it before doing an e.l.f. video. It is not a complete dupe for Tatcha but I mean it is up there. In that first impressions video I swatched the Tatcha and the e.l.f. and I gave like my thoughts on the feel the look, the texture, everything about it, and for like eight bucks versus like 60, you can't beat it. It is just so good. It is right up there with the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer, or yeah, Tarte, and the Tatcha, like it's just, it is competitive. It's bomb. I know it keeps selling out. If you guys can get your hands on it, get your hands on it. Then going to a brow product, the Lancome Brow Define Pencil is amazing. It is pigmented, it is so petite, it is so easy to get your brows, shape them, fill them, the color payoff, the spoolie, it is precise, it looks beautiful, this is fantastic, like so good. Uh, two lip liners, the Hourglass panoramic longwear lip liner in canvas is a beautiful shade it is super creamy super long lasting gorgeous and same with the dose of colors uh, this lip liner in the shade delight it is like my exact lip color so it is just perfection for me to use on a daily basis it has so much staying power. This is long lasting. It does not budge until you want to take it off. It's creamy. It's pigmented. It is gorgeous. I just, I love this guy so much. So that's what it looks like. It's awesome. It twists up and down from here, not from the base. That did get me at the beginning, so just beware of that. Uh, some more blushes, the Buxom Primer Infused Blush. I love Seychelles and Mykonos so far the most. I like mixing these again. The staying power is crazy. I did not have the blush break apart, move, fade, nothing. It would like stayed in place for over eight hours until I removed it. I think that primer really does go a long way. They are also very pigmented. You want a light hand with those ones too. Another gorgeous blush. I got this from Beautylish. The Sawasu Radiance Blusher, uh, Blush Radiance Number no. 2 Coral Harmony. I use this like crazy on my vacation. You get a nice mirror, a beautiful compact that protects the blush. You can dip into the lighter part to make it more of a luminous blush or you can avoid that and stick in this area for just the coral and make it not so luminous. I love mixing it all together. It's not like mixing blush and highlight. It's not that intense. It is a beautiful add-on for luminosity and I love how this is here to protect the blush so you know 
you're investing more money in it, but you're not gonna like open it up, slip, dig a nail in there. Like it's just protected and it will stay intact longer. The Guerlain Terracotta Electric Light Copper Bronzing Powder is also fantastic. This is beautiful. This to me is more of a blush topper. I did get my nail in there. It totally broke my heart. But this, or a bronze topper, I mean not a blush topper. I love using my Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer, the cool toned one, and then just putting this over top for a little bit of radiance on its own. It doesn't give me the bronze that I'm looking for, but as a topper, it is spectacular. Then the Winky Luxe Whipped Cream Primer. This is like mousse. It is the coolest texture. I demoed this as a first impressions. I love this primer too. This one is bomb. I love right now switching between this one, my e.l.f., my Tatcha, and my Tarte. Like those are pretty much my favorite primers right now. They're just so, so good. So if you haven't tried this one out, I really recommend it too. Then some eye products. I haven't actually used this on camera yet, but I used it quite a few times on my trip. The MAC Dazzle Shadow Liquid. Now this just added the prettiest amount of sparkle over top of any eyeshadow look that I had created. It has a beautiful doe foot. It does come in several shades, but this one was very versatile, and I would just dab it onto my lid over the shadow. It never broke my shadow apart, and it was buildable. I could have like the finest little bit of glitter, or I could pack it on more for a more intense glitter, and then kind of fade it out, and it just meant went with so many different shadows. This one is Dazzle or not afraid to sparkle is this shade and it's the only one that I've tried but it was beautiful no fallout very easy to use so I didn't want to let you guys know about that then the JD Glow Cosmetics liquid gel liner in Empire is the most beautiful champagne not totally in your face, but putting it in the crease is just stunning. It adds so much to your makeup look without just being like, bam, something in the crease. I love this so much. It is more pricey than a typical, like, you know, glitter liner or colored liner, whatever you'd be putting in your crease, but it is truly spectacular. I love this so much. And I'm also obsessed with the P. Louise base. I had no idea that this was really like that standalone and that above everything else. And I used the shade Rumor 0 0.5 as well as her brush that came with it. And I didn't think this would be great for a cut crease, but it really is. It just shapes your lid beautifully. This base is magical. It is as good as everybody makes it out to be. I didn't think it could be, but it truly is that amazing. I know it's pricey. You have to pay for shipping. It comes from the UK if you're in the States. I don't know if you get free shipping if you're in the UK, how it works that way, but getting it shipped to the States, I did have to spend money on shipping, which almost like doubled the price of the product, but for me, it's worth it. It just makes such a difference in your eye makeup and it it just blends, it melts, the way it grabs the pigment. It, it's really special. It truly is. Uh, then my Viseart palettes. I use the Cool Mattes 2 all the time as well as the Grande Pro Volume 1. I just can't recommend Viseart enough, but the Koi palette blew me away. I did a tutorial using this one, swatching the palette, and it is just magnificent. It has like this UV shift and it's metallic and shiny, a little bit sparkly, a little bit foiled. It is magical. It is so beautiful. I recommend the Koi palette so much. It's just, you guys need to try it. Like seriously, you need to try it. I also fell really hard for the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter 
concealers. I didn't like the setting powder and the primer and the foundation do not work for my skin. It's very drying on my skin and it just feels like it's sucking the life out of my skin. But these concealers are opaque creamy they blend out in a second they don't crease they're buildable if you want even more coverage these are truly amazing and same with the uh, 180 precision concealer brush I've never had a brush just so perfectly get in my inner corners to blend. I don't like it for blending out everywhere, but to get in that inner corner and make it such a seamless application, I've actually ordered a second one and it'll be here in like two days because I love this so much. Like everybody needs this brush in their lives. It will change your concealer game. I, you have no idea the difference that it makes. Then I have a few more lip products. The Milk Makeup Kush Lip Glaze is beautiful. It comes out green, it does not look green at all on your lips, but it is so shiny and moisturizing, nourishing. It is beautiful. It has a really nice applicator. Like I really do love this lip gloss. I Way more than I ever expected. Um, I don't know if I could give you guys a favorite out of the favorites that I've already shared with you, but these are all great for different reasons. Then the other lip products I wanted to mention are these three guys, the Tom Ford Lumiere Lip in 03 Rougier is beautiful. It does not come out that pink, but it does add the lightest flush of pink to your lips to make them like your lips but better, while being uber nourishing, so hydrating, so like just creamy and it feels amazing. It's like a balm, but it has some color and it has the benefits, but it's in a lipstick form. Like it's truly a beautiful formula and the packaging is just stunning. And then these Guerlain lipsticks, the Kiss Kiss, 302 Romantic Kiss and 341 Peach Fizz, I can't stop wearing, especially Romantic Kiss. It has like stars and moon shapes on it, but this is the most perfect pinky nude. Gives your lips just a little something something. The formula is so lightweight but nourishing. It's not drying. It doesn't gather funny. It's very easy to apply because it's not like crazy color. Like Pat McGrath lipsticks, you need to like watch what you're doing because there's so much pigment. I'm obsessed, but it's not like one that you can just like slap on and not look. These ones you can just slap on, not look what you're doing. It will just give such a gorgeous something to your lips, but it's so natural and the packaging, like gorgeous. Then two products from Beauty Blender. I am obsessed with the Bounce Foundation. I am exactly in the shade 1.50. This is very lightweight. It is buildable. It evens out your skin tone. It looks so healthy and beautiful. If you guys haven't tried this out yet, it is so convenient with pumping it into the back. I so recommend trying this foundation out. And if you like a dewy finish, the Beauty Blender Redo Set and Refresh Spray, you do have to mix it well because it separates, but it has the finest mist I've ever tried in my life. And I've tried, you know, 40, 50 products that are mists in my life. This one I had to, it has a double seal too, which I appreciate. I actually had to look in the mirror and be like, am I hitting my face? Because you can't feel it. It's so fine, but it gives such a beautiful dewiness without looking greasy or heavy, oily. It's just like your skin is radiating. It is really a nice spray. And then I have a few more brushes I wanted to make mention of. I've been trying the uh, Zoeva brushes a lot lately, both from the Rose Rose Golden Collection and the Spice of Life. Zoeva brushes are fantastic. I hadn't bought them because you couldn't ship it to the US for the longest time. And then I don't know when they changed it because I tried probably a year ago and I couldn't get the brushes. And then all of a sudden a few months ago I could buy brushes. So I'm not sure the 
turning point, what happened, but Soeva is no joke. These are just incredible. Uh, they're up there with Wayne Goss. I love my Luxie brushes. My camera just cut off. Uh, the Sonia G brushes are so good. Like, I've, I've been blown away by Sonia G. They, they're just, I think they're even better than Wayne Goss. I'm just going to say it. I think they are the best brushes I have ever tried. They are so good. And this new Sculpt 3 fan brush for spotlight highlighting, I am obsessed with. It does the most brilliant job. It is better than the Sigma. It is so, so good. I can like I cannot recommend it enough because investing in your brushes will really make such a difference in your makeup application. It will help with it any kind of formula when you're using your eyeshadows, if you're highlighting. Good quality brushes really do pay off in the long run. It's an investment up front. Beautylish at least allows you to do three flexible payments, so they do break it down over three months. There's no interest. There's literally no strings attached, no fine print. You get your products in two days, free shipping over $35, it's just, you can't get better than Beautylish right down to their customer service. And then the fact that you can buy really expensive products. I do that every three months. I do a big order and I just break it down so I can pay it off over three months. And it's so worthwhile. So... Holy cow, that was a lot of makeup, but they are just such amazing products that I had to talk about these. And the same with the skincare video, there were so many products, but they have been just absolute staples that I had to share it with you guys, let you know about these, because they just, they make me happy, they make my heart happy, they make me smile, they make me look good, they're just so good. So that is it for this video, please thumbs it up if you liked it, please share it, and please subscribe if you haven't already. So until next time, good night, good morning, wherever you are, I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you later. Bye guys.